Hi again, I'm Christopher. I'm the founding director of True Story Theater, which has been in the Arlington community for um, close to 20 years now, using improvisational theater to have conversations about important social issues. Um, so today it's about how are we doing, especially people in the business community, during the pandemic. The actors will be the ones who will very briefly, dramatically embody what they hear, and we're looking to be as accurate as possible and reflecting what we hear as your experience and your feelings. So without further ado, we're going to jump into doing a little bit of playback, and then we'll do a variety of different ways to reflect experiences. Is there somebody who raised their hand for feeling stressed who would be willing to share one stress that you have. So I'm going just unmute yourself before you start talking. Wendy, oh, Wendy. I'll, go first. I'll share a stress. Uh, all right, Someone, someone's gonna break the ice. Uh, balancing remote learning for my child while running a business. So Wendy, before you go, you were wonderfully succinct. Mm. I just wanted to hear. Now you're gonna grill me. <laughs> I'm going to you just the tiniest bit more. So, sure. parents, uh, how old? Just how old are your kids? I have one nine-year-old. One nine-year-old. And one forty-four-year-old. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so forty-four. Aha! Uh -huh. I saw a glimpse of yeah. the four-year-old. So, you, I'm imagining that you're used to having a little more space to focus. Yes. Having parenting. Yes. And I'm curious, any other hands of people who have children at home? I have a grown up child, but great. Okay, so everybody except for the actors, I'm going to invite to hide your video and the actors will do a moving sculpture, fluid sculpture. Let's watch. <laughs> It, it's a balancing act. Whoa. I have to get this done. Don't you understand? I've got to get this work done. Whoa. They're talking to people about their experience. How do I get my kid to do online learning in this little box? Are they even learning anything? I don't even understand it. How can they be understanding how to do this thing Come on this on. box? How is business, that possible? Children. Business, children, business, children, business, children. How? I think I found it. Come on. There's so much that's new. Thank you, actors. Just Wendy, come back, and the actors can stay on. And Alyssa, who did the music as well. So, Wendy, did you get to see some of your work you felt? <laughs> that was something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's definitely a balancing act. Um, it's, you know, there's some technology challenges were hinted at. So, yeah, mm. I think you get it. Thank you for breaking the ice. I'm sorry. Sure. No, that's great. So I invite everybody to turn on your video again. Acknowledge the person <clears throat> who shared, in this case, Wendy, with some movement. Could be an ASL applause or something else that you feel moved to do. And this is a ritual. We always hear from someone willing to take a risk to share something personal to them. Turn it over to the actors to embody it. Check back with the person who is the teller to give them a final word if they want to add anything. And then everybody come to acknowledge the person who shared. And let's all take a deep breath, a deep sigh. <sighs> Oh. 
I'm grateful during this time of respiratory disease around the world to keep breathing and keep breathing together as a community. So one more deep breath, deep sigh of relief. Oh. <sighs> So what haven't we shared yet that feels important that's going on for us in this community? And maybe just different people can um, write in the chat for a moment. So you have a chat box if you click on it and just write a, a short phrase of what else feels up in our community and including the business community. So just take a minute to write and to look at what other people have written. And let's pause. And I'm just struck reading this, as I imagine you are too, at the mix of feeling the loss, including loss of community and connection. Raise your hand if you relate to that and also being inspired by resilience and creativity and new connections. So raise your hand if you relate to some of that. So it's both. I wanted to start with uh, one of you who wrote so eloquently about the loss, either Leland or Kim, would one of you be willing to share? some of how you f you're experiencing it. Leland, you could unmute. Hi. Hi. So the loss of community is profound because it's personal and when it comes to the business of running a theater, a theater is nothing if it's not about community. And, and you've, you know, been, you've been running the Regent Theater as a community space of connection for so many years now. I've really appreciated it. Yeah. So really, since we, you know, it's been close to 20 years now and we're getting into our busiest time ever. And then the plug being pulled out. For, for me, it's much, the loss of communities much more profound than the financial impact, which is obviously profound as well. But it's also the personal loss of community because I'm in isolation and solitude. Uh, so to go from looking forward to all of the different events and welcoming the people to the theater, they enjoying their experience, enjoying it together as a community, that's gone for now but also the social interaction with friends and family, which can only be fulfilling to some extent online. Yeah. Well, well said, I'm going to invite Anne to be a singer in a song and movement pair, Yatsik to be the mover. So on one hand, having this wonderful experience of building this community theater as a space for connection. And then on the other hand, feeling the, this loss of not only income, but community. Let's watch and listen. Everybody else can shut off their video. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Regent. This is my life, this is my life. Hello, George, hello, Linda, hello, old friends and new. We have got such a show for you. This is my life, my life, and I welcome you to community.
you I want to touch you friends family nothing 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 I am drying up I fear oh I loved my old life will I ever have again my old life Mm, thank you, Leland. You can come back. How was that, Leland, to watch? Uh, well, to listen to, I didn't get a visual on that. Was there was there a visual? I must have stopped it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I I I disabled video for myself i didn't know i did it for everyone i'm new to all this zoom stuff so but it sounded great <laughs> you can recording later <laughs> and yeah. did singing speak to you to your experience oh yes yeah well there's nothing like putting it to music right yeah well, thank, thank you. you thank you and everybody else can come back on their video we're still figuring out all together how to communicate <laughs> on this technology. Okay. So I want um, just to have the, everybody stop their video except for the performers and hosts just to take a quick bow. And then I'll turn it over to Beth for, and Leland for final announcements. So thank you. Thank you, True Story Theater. And uh, thank you, Arlington Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, True Story Theater. That was, that was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, and and, it, and it, it surpassed all of my expectations. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's nice to um, hear. Announcement. If there's anybody else who has uh, any sort of an announcement related to their business that they would like to share, uh, we can do that quickly. And then, uh, and then I guess we'll say goodbye. Uh, so go ahead, Leland. Okay, I think someone disabled my video, but can you hear me? Yep. Okay, so um, I just want to tell people that we're all dealing, one of the things that uh, we're all thinking about is mindfulness and we are hosting a virtual screening of a film called the mindfulness movement and uh tonight at seven o'clock there's a screening followed by a virtual q a with the filmmaker rob beamer who's going to join us and we built a broadcast studio in the regent theater underground so we'll be testing it out for the first time tonight and we're doing more and more of these virtual screening since we can't do them physically on the big screen. So hope you can join us. Just go to regiontheater.com or our Facebook page and you can find out more. And, and just as we split the proceeds with the distributor or the filmmaker, normally that's what's happening with the online uh, screening. So thank you. Thank you, Leland. Mm, thank you so much. Beth. Okay. Is there anybody else who has a business a business related announcement? No. Okay. So I guess I just have one more thing, and that is to say that next week um, we'll be going back to a much drier sort of topic, but still very important. And that is um, we have a webinar next Tuesday on how to save um, on health insurance. So you can get the information and sign up on our website as you did for this one. And uh, watch your email after this webinar. I will be picking the winner of the margarita kit at Mystic Wine Shop. So.
So watch your email. I'll be in touch with the winner. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I forgot Bye. to also acknowledge two groups that partially funded this program, which is Oli Hoag Foundation in Boston and the National Endowment for the Arts Our Town program. And again, thank you, Beth, for your fantastic hat and fan great <laughs> organizing. And thank you, everybody, for being on this call. Please do fill out the evaluation afterwards. That's going to help us with our funders. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Yay. Bye. Thank you.